For our walk today we've come to Costa de la Cama and we've realised that in all the years that we've lived here this place almost on our doorstep is somewhere we've never actually been to. Um, it's just a, along from Santa Ponza so if you're actually staying in Santa Ponza it's something that's quite easily uh, to walk to. In fact it's only just down from the square in Santa Ponza. Um, and we just arrived here and we just watched some paddle boarders go out and we're just looking down at the sea and it's beautifully clean. So let's just have a look around this uh, beach and we're going to walk along the headlands and show you some beautiful views. Well, the sand up paddle borders have just gone down around the headland there but the sea is looking remarkably clear here. Absolutely beautiful. It's a bit cool, uh, the weather forecast said 17 degrees today but the sun's shining so once you're in the sun it does feel a lot warmer. And just looking around there's, there's a lot of seaweed here but that will be cleared up uh, once the tourist season starts again uh, and all of this will be tidied up. And uh, also on the beach is the Chiringuito, in fact uh, when you come down uh, from the motorway and it is actually signposted as the Chiringuito. The Chiringuito is a little bar, cafe at the end there, and, uh, and not open now, but open uh, when the season starts. There is a car park all the way down here though. It's a bit rough, uh, but uh, I guess it gets really full in the summer. I'm quite surprised just how clear the water is. There's a few gentle ripples, but really clear down to the bottom. We saw some stand-up paddle boarders a few moments ago. Now I'm actually seeing uh, there's a few people out swimming. Um, so we've got some snorkels out here as well. Enjoying the crystal clear waters. They've got their wetsuits on. Anita has her parasol up and we're going to just head along this path uh, which takes us just around the headland. And we can be looking down at the sea just to see how clear it is. Even though we've lived in Mallorca for all these years, this is one place uh, we've never visited before. I don't know how we managed to miss this out. The news is uh, looking much more positive. I uh, read this morning that some hotels are actually planning to open next month, it's March. Um, they're going to be catering, I think, for the German market. Uh, they're planning to start flights. TUI, one of the big uh, holiday companies, used to be Thompson in, in the UK. But two are starting flights from the end of March for German holiday makers. One thing the Germans are really pushing is this uh, tourist passport, uh, vaccination passport. So that could become more and more important as the holiday season starts. This is a really pretty walk. Lots of things to see. Here we've got some snorkelers enjoying the beautifully clear waters here. views here are absolutely amazing. We've also seen one or two other walkers. Uh, well, we've just started our little walk here. And there's one or two people 
sitting down there on the rocks and uh, enjoying the sunshine, reading a book. little signpost here tells us we go one way to Santa Ponza or a different way to Pagera. And there's another little beach bar here, obviously closed up at the moment. And all the wooden poles there waiting for the parasols to be put on. Listening to the news from Alcudia uh, on the north of the island, uh, they're planning to be putting their uh, sun lounges and parasols out from the 1st of May. So all of that's in situ. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. Here we have two, two lone seagulls sitting by the shore and they're enjoying the sounds of the sea. While oh, we enjoy the views. And we're going to follow the coastline round. It's a really good path. Again, very well kept, just like everything else here in Mallorca. Very clean and uh, well maintained. Got a few little ripples. So we've got some sounds of the sea. My daughter's putting up a number of uh, videos. She lives in the UK um, with the sounds of the ripples of the water on the beach, on the pebbles, on the Solent down there in Hampshire. It's February, it's uh, 2021 and uh, we do have the pandemic but the news is all starting to look much better and reading the newspapers this morning things just felt a whole lot more positive. There are less people in hospital, lots of people have left hospital now less people going into the ICU, less people contracting this horrendous disease and uh, things are looking more positive for our tourist season. Something like 11 billion euros are going to be pumped into the economy. Uh, Pedro Sanchez, the Prime Minister of Spain, announced yesterday, so somebody was asking me in the comments, uh, is there any help from the government? Well, yesterday we did get this announcement. As of Tuesday, there'll be more relaxation of the restrictions. The one that mostly affects us, <laughs> us personally, really, is the fact that bars and restaurants will be open. Uh, only in the daytime, closing at 5 p.m., where at least that's a start, and then another two weeks' time they'll review the restrictions. And so long as everything continues in the right direction, uh, people continue to obey the, the rules that they've set out, then hopefully the restrictions can be lifted even further and we'll be able to go out for dinner in the evening. a little bit hilly in parts this path but uh, nothing too difficult Hola. Hola. Yeah. And all the time we can look down at the sea and crystal clear waters Stand-up paddleboarders are making their way back and have seen one or two boats out today. Sunday, so it's a day when people can go out and enjoy 
dropping out on the water. One of the sports that's become really popular in recent years, this stand-up paddle boarding. I don't think I'd be very good at it. I think I'd be falling in. I'm just going to carry on walking. It's a little bit steep here. Wouldn't be somewhere you'd want to come with a wheelchair, but... Uh, not too bad if you're able to walk. Comes round as another little pebbly cove. If you've watched any of my other videos, I've spoken about the geology and the rocks and uh, some lovely outcrops here. Families out on the beach, sunbathing, even playing in the water. Now we've just seen an inscription on the floor that said that uh, this was built in 2018, so that's probably the reason we didn't know about it. Well, I hope we've, you've enjoyed our little walk around Costa de la Carma. Only a short video this one, but uh, some beautiful sights and uh, somewhere interesting for you to go, particularly if you're staying in Santa Ponsa. It's not really too far from there. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye, and it is very beautiful.